Hey there, YouTubers. So, um, as I'm getting closer to returning back to the U.S., I thought I would talk to you all about some of the graphics cards I bought or will be buying within the next few weeks for the channel. You'll see a ton of unboxings coming up, which I'm super excited about. Lots of gaming videos. Um, you know, I missed out on a few games that have come out in the past year, and uh, I'm going to uh, get caught up probably with the uh, the new stuff. So. Now, the first graphics card that I ended up buying, I got off Amazon. It was the uh, Zotac GTX 1660 Ti. Um, I had a Ti, a 1660 Ti in the past, got rid of it, and now, you know, decided, well, might as well get this one back for the channel. Plus, uh, you know, on the mining aspect, when it's not gaming, we'll put it to work there. Got that for $469, so... That uh, was one of the better prices. Even though back in the day, you know, it would have been about, what, $279. Also, we have the uh, EVGA RTX 3070. Can't remember which model. It's uh, before LHR came out, so should be good for gaming and mining. Recently, I picked that one up for a little over $500. Uh, recently on EVGA.com, I was able to pick up an RTX 3060, this is the LHR one, got that for $436, and that includes tax, so pretty good deal on that one. That is a LHR, so it won't be as great for you know mining, but for gaming, it'll do just fine for the channel. Now, probably my best card, well, this is definitely my best card. I wasn't willing to buy an RTX 3090, but I was willing to get the RTX 3080 Ti for the channel, so... That cost me right at $1,700, including uh, shipping. So that's a Zotac one. Much better deal than what you'd find on Amazon and a lot of the other websites. So I am, I'll am i tell you what, I'm super excited about that one. We'll be gaming like crazy with that one. Now, also looking at a Gigabyte RTX 3070 Ti. And uh, basically just trying to fill all the holes with the graphics cards. That one's going to cost me, uh, probably get it off eBay, should be around uh, 1100 to 1200 for that. You're going to also get uh, EVJ RTX 3060 Ti. If somehow I get lucky and get an email uh, that, you know, I've been selected to buy one, obviously it'd be a lot cheaper on EVJ's website. But if not, we'll pick it up for about 800 on uh, eBay as well. Quite a few of them there. Now, thinking of last generation RTX 2080 Super, uh, I'm going to pick one of those up, preferably Gigabyte, uh, the Windforce one with the three fans, and that's uh, that's pretty much going to round it out. Except for uh, looking at a either a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti or one of the other ones, those can be had for uh, the 1100, 1200 range. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe, and I uh, hope you'll uh, tune in as I get more of these cards in. Thank you.